Hi girls, this is Julia and I have been tagged to do the 10 things that make me feel pretty video. So, you know, it took me several days to think about this because, you know, when we do, you know, things to our hair or our makeup, you know, generally it's to make us, you know, feel pretty. So, I had to think of things that really, whenever I use them, just made me feel good, made me look like I feel look good made me feel like I look good let's put it that way <laughs> all right so hmm ten things number one the best thing most important thing and it's not something that I can show you because he is at school and that is my sweet sunshine Gavin he is seven and the light of my life and he on a daily basis tells me well this is the funniest thing that he says he says that I am so um, I'm the, what, what does he say? I'm having a mind block. But basically, he just tells me how beautiful I am and how I'm the most special person in the whole world. And I'm just so pretty. And just every time I walk into a room, he says things like that. I mean, he's seven and he already just is that way. He is just such a wonderful boy and if he obviously he, yes he hears that from his father because his father tells me that all the time as well but you know my child being seven I just thought that was a little bit more special because when he says that I'm just like oh thank you you know and I just have the biggest smile on my face and no matter what I look like I can have my glasses on no makeup whatever he says that and I just feel pretty no matter no matter what so he's the best medicine so Gavin is number one the second thing I made my list because as I said I even scratched some things out and, <laughs> and put other things because you know 10 making it down to 10 you know I had to you know figure that out okay the next thing is the Lorac 3D Liquid Luster. This is in Diamond. And girls, this, well first of all I have to say when I show you a swatch of this, you'll have to excuse the eyeliner mark on my hand. I just taped my Saturday Standouts and Stinkers and this is the um, Rimmel Scandalized Eyeliner in Taupe number 004 had that, swatched it on my hand. I even got my kitchen scrubby to scrub my hand and it's still there, which is one reason why it was so wonderful and on my list. But this is for the 10 things that make me feel pretty. And this is it. I love putting this over the Naked from Urban Decay. Love that. Put Naked all over my eyelid and put this on top. And you shake it up first, and then you bring out the little dropper like this, and you just need the smallest amount. That's a tiny little drop, and you see that? And you just tap, I just tap it in with my finger. Um, you know, you could use a brush, and you see, just a nice sparkle. And you can put as little or as much as you would like. So that really would change your eye look from, you know, nice to bold amount of sparkle. But I actually love this. They have it in diamond. And, okay, seriously, I need some more coffee. Okay, what are the other... Well, anyway, this is the one I like best. They have several different colors, but I like the diamond best. And I wonder why. Maybe because I like diamonds. I don't know. Okay, next thing goes on my lips. And this is a no-brainer for me. No-brainer. If I want to, uh, if I'm going somewhere and I want to, you know, look nice, this is what I put on. I put on the Too Faced Lip Injection color bomb pencil in never enough nude love this oh my god love it so i put that on my lip 
And then I like putting the Buxom um, Lip Gloss in Princess over that. I use Princess and I also use Buxom's um, White Russian on it as well. But I love this. And it is, of course, plumping. So that is with the lip gloss on top. Love it, love it, love it. Um, it is plumping. Um, generally for the lip injection pencil, um, when I rub my lips together, that's when I feel a little bit of tingling, but it never hurts. So I love it. That makes me feel very pretty. Okay, number four on my list is actually something for my hair. I have talked about how much hair I have, and it's I have a lot of hair. What I have is very thick, and it's naturally it's very, very wavy. But when you put as much hair as I have together, it kind of just looks like a mess. And so I have to have something to calm it down, which you see this is calmed. And I have been using this. It is called the InStyler. And I love it. Um, now, it's not a flat iron, obviously. So, you're not going to have perfectly flattened hair. But it gives you just enough and a nice sheen on your hair. And then, of course, it curls the ends just a tad. Once you turn it on, this ball, this roller right here spins. So, when you're pulling, you push this and it makes the roller start rolling and you just bring it through your hair you have a nice sheen and whichever way you turn the handle is whichever way it's going to curl your hair I love it it does not make my ends look damaged it just really has taken care of my hair and I have used this for a couple of years now and it still works great and I ordered it off of the internet so couldn't find it in the store, so I ordered it off the internet. And I love it. Again, it's the In Styler. Love, love, love. Okay, next thing is, you know, this is number five. And it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Power. And I have Luminous Light. I love this. Girls, when I want to feel pretty, I get my fan brush. Gently put that in there, tap off the extra, and just glide it over my cheekbones. And it is something that when you go outside, you just have this subtle yet just stunning, stunning highlight on your face. It is absolutely beautiful. Sometimes I get like a big powder brush, you know, one that's not going to pack on a lot of color, and dab it in here and just do over my entire face. And I love it. Makes me feel very pretty. This is in Luminous Light, and I guess I could swatch it for you. Um, and I would like to get Dim Light as well. There it is on my finger. And let's see, find a spot on my hand right here. Can you see that? Ooh, yeah, I look at that. Very nice. Love it. Makes me feel very, very pretty, and I want some more of these. Okay, number six. Now, it doesn't matter what I have on my face. I have to have some perfume on. Perfume always makes me feel pretty. Now, I have, you know, several different bottles of perfume, so depending on my mood for the day is what perfume I put on. But this is my general favorite. It is the Marc Jacobs Daisy. First of all, I love the bottle. I mean, how cool is that? And just a beautiful floral scent. It just is um, an innocent smell to me. Yeah, so when I'm not going to be bad for the day, <laughs> I like to wear my Marc Jacobs Daisy. It really is just, it's a beautiful, fresh, clean, floral smell. And it is amazing. And everyone that smells it thinks it's amazing. And it makes me feel very pretty. Okay, number seven. 
This definitely makes me feel pretty because I have also, I have not only talked about my hair, but I have talked about my monstrous pores on my face. And this makes them go away. It is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I've talked about this in my videos before, so I'm not going to go into that much detail. Y'all have seen it. But it is very, very powdery, so that you kind of have to look past. And it is a fine white powder. And basically, I just tap this on, kind of swirl to the right, swirl to the left. Pores are gone. And they stay that way for the day. And I love it. See, you see all the powder floating away. <laughs> this stuff is amazing. I love it, love it, love it. I wear it every day. And if I didn't wear it, I would not feel as pretty because my pores would be just shining for the whole world to see. And that's not a good thing. So, Bye Bye Pores definitely makes me feel pretty. Okay, now the next thing, number eight. This was... You know, I normally don't spend this kind of money on, you know, primers or things like that. But I saw this on YouTube and I was like, oh my goodness, must have it. And my husband, I think he wanted to order like a car part. <laughs> you know, not something he had to have, but something that he wanted, that kind of thing. And um, I was like, well, can I order something? You know, so he wouldn't feel so bad. And he said, yeah, so I did. And it is from Guerlain. Oh, it is the Meteorites um, Pearls in, let's see, Lay Ores. See these gold beads in here? Oh, my God, girls. A little pump. And I use this not all, I really don't use this often just because it was so pricey for what you, I mean, for a primer. It was very pricey and I wouldn't even use it as a primer. It says a base coat, but I use my Sarah McNamara first always. Um, and if I'm going somewhere or just want to feel extra pretty for a day, I put this on. And you just need the smallest amount, and you want to use the smallest amount because you want it to last. And you know what? When I heard about this one, I heard it was um, discontinued. They weren't, it was limited edition, or they weren't, you know, selling it anymore. But I found it. When I'm told I can't, I, then I have to find it. <laughs> and I did. And I love this stuff. Here it is on my finger, and I will rub it into this hand since this one is busy. It is a beautiful, beautiful liquid. It is just, feels excellent on your skin. You just put it on and let it sit for about a minute before you do your foundation. Hold on, let me turn my phone off real quick. Sorry about that. Um, but you just rub that into your hand and, or not into your hand, onto your face. I was really getting into that. <laughs> and you will, you put your foundation on over it and you look like you have an eternal glow. I can't explain it. It just, any better than that other than just any, an eternal glow. It is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful, I think. Um, I, I use this under any of my foundations. Um, my Estee Lauder Devil Wear Light, I wear it under. I wear it under my It Cosmetics CC Cream, and those are the two things that I wear most often. Now, I do not wear it under a foundation if, it is a, if the foundation is a dewy foundation because uh, that just would be too much going on. So, <laughs> if it's a matte foundation, I, I would I would use this just because I don't want that much, you know, that much glowing. But this stuff is amazing. I can't, it was somewhere between $70 and $90, I believe. I, it, it's been a while since I ordered it. 
Um, but I will look and when I edit the video, I will put it down at the bottom. So, but this stuff is amazing. And I'll see if you can actually still get the Lay Ores color. The, the, the regular color of balls they have are pink, which I shouldn't mind since that's my favorite color, right? But I wanted the gold. And basically, when you push the pump, it pushes the balls down, which gives you the liquid. And it is amazing. Okay, number nine. I didn't know how to show you this. And it's my mask. This is one container. <laughs> you know I love my paper mask, right? Now this has my martini mask. This box alone has my martini mask. And I have another container that has my um, regular mask because you know I love my TJ Maxx and my Marshalls mask and I have it separated between the face mask, the decollete, the, oh, what do you call it? You know, your chest mask. Um, I have feet mask, eye mask, all that's in that one. But this one is just my martini mask and whatever, like, charcoal mask, you know, just the regular face mask that comes in a pump. So, let's see. There we go. Can you see that? Crazy, but I love it. Now these are professional grade masks, just like um, medical grade skincare is better. It gets deeper into your skin. Professional grade masks do the same thing. These again are from Martini Mask, and I just can't tell you how good I feel after I've done one. And the good thing about the martini mask, a lot of them you can actually do two time two in a row um, because they have so much serum in them. Um, let me see. I don't know if I have one that has the clear back for you to see. No, but there is a lot of serum in them. And so what I do is after I put the mask on for 20 minutes, I take it off, I fold the mask very carefully and put it back in the container and then put it in a big Ziploc and I put it in the refrigerator. But these are so good for your skin. Makes you just, your skin just soaks it up and just, it's amazing. And it's beneficial for your skin, especially someone my age who needs that anti-aging stuff. And they've got everything from plants um, de derived mask, fruit derived, um, COQ10 collagen mask, you know, just all of them. Let me see if I can get a fruit one. They have honey and milk, hyaluronic acid mask, um, just, just a few, Co a coconut collagen mask, green apple collagen, you know, it is just unbelievable. And of course I have them alphabetized <laughs> in there. Shouldn't surprise anyone that knows me. But anyway, masking is awesome. It is incredible. It is wonderful. And I feel very beautiful when I have done a mask. So I love it. And that's why I do it all the time, right? Okay, last but not least, number 10 is, again, something I can't physically show you, but it is fitness. I have had, you know, I'm doing a the 30 day spring your body back challenge with some beautiful ladies here on YouTube. And, you know, I've done a video on my part of the challenge and I will link that down below, but basically fitness is the best thing you can possibly do to make yourself feel beautiful and to stay young. It just, gets your blood pumping and it makes everything work better and you feel better. And when that happens, then I feel beautiful. Um, I work out with a trainer twice a week. I've recently started taking tennis lessons. I recently did a 30 day squat challenge and I'm still in a ab challenge. And a trainer from my gym wants me to do a 
a burpee challenge with her and a plank challenge with her and it's just what what and I'm just saying that just because a I am not a I have tons that I need to lose I mean tons um, I am a realtor and with that is a lot of walking when you're showing houses but it's actually most sitting sitting looking at properties on the computer things that you know talking on the phone there's the phone <laughs> sorry about that um, and it's just a lot of sitting and you know I developed a thyroid problem which I have to take a thyroid pill for that every morning sorry the phone's still ringing but that caused me to gain weight a lot of weight and I have been trying to get that off which is another reason why I started working out with a trainer but you know basically it's just you know it is just an amazing feeling and like if I have a, a great workout then and my muscles are sore like right now I worked out with my husband um, two days ago well to, you know, most days of the week, if I'm not training, I'm working out with my husband because he does, he's strictly weights. And I worked out with him, and oh, my arms are so sore. He was trying to give me a, you know, a little arm massage, and I was just squealing like a baby. But you know what? Pain is good. My kickboxing instructor once told me that pain is weakness leaving your body and strength is a good thing for you love it it again fitness in general any way gets you moving anything you want to do to the it's going to get you moving will make you feel beautiful because it's going to make you feel so good inside all right i'm not going to talk i started going off on fitness there so sorry I'm just very passionate about it, which is why my license plate says fitness. <laughs> Insane, I know. But anyway, um, that's the 10 things that make me feel beautiful or pretty, as it said. And, you know, what makes you feel pretty? What gets you just all smiley face, happy, you know, when, when you put it on? So tell me down below. And if you're watching this, consider yourself tagged. And let me know if you do your video so I can watch it. Okay? Hope you all have a great day, a fun day, and it's always a safe day. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.